Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 9th of 2020, well, it is titled Full Flower Moonrise. So what do we see here? Well, this is the May full moon, which is known as the flower moon. And we can see the full moon there off in the distance over the horizon, uh, just beginning to rise. Now, the moon uh, will look red when it is close to the horizon for the same reason the sun looks red when it is setting or rising. And that is because we see it through a lot more atmosphere when it is close to the horizon. So the more atmosphere it looks through, the more space there is for light to get scattered. And when light passes through the atmosphere, it may come through, start out as all white light, which is what happens. And then the shorter wavelengths are progressively uh, scattered out of it. So the light, as the sun gets lower and lower, or the moon gets lower and lower in the sky, will look progressively redder. So if you watch a sunset, you can watch the sun turn from a yellowish uh, color into a yellowish orange to orange to orange red to red to a very deep red as it gets closer to the horizon. And that's not, of course, the sun or the moon changing. That is simply that we're, the atmosphere is scattering out more and more light as you look through a longer uh, section of atmosphere as it gets close to the horizon. So if you watch the moon rise, you might see it starting to rise a very red color, and it will slowly brighten to its ordinary color as it gets a little bit higher up in the sky. Now, this was also one of the larger and brighter full moons that we will get this year. Sometimes we call this the super moon, which is when the moon occurs close to perigee. Perigee is the closest approach of an orbit of an object around the Earth. So something like the moon orbits around the Earth in an elliptical orbit. Sometimes it's a little bit closer, sometimes a little bit further away. And that means that sometimes it will look a little bit larger. When something is closer, it looks at small, a little bit larger. And when something is further away, it looks a little bit smaller. Now, it's not a big difference, just a few percent generally for the moon, but you can see the difference when you look at images of it side by side. If you look at a moon, full moon that occurred at perigee, the closest approach, versus one that occurred at apogee, the furthest approach of, from the Earth, you can see that there is a distinct difference in the sizing of the moon. However, if you just go out there and look at it, you're probably not going to notice the difference just glancing at the moon in the sky without anything else to compare to. So that was our picture of the day for May the 9th of 2020. It was titled Full Flower Moonrise. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Peculiar Galaxies. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.